liar liars the nuclear industry pants is on fire where there is smoke there is fire you know there's only one other government on earth who is worse than the united states when it comes to covering up for nuclear and that's the canadian government they will literally do or say anything to protect their uranium mining industry here in the states we get incident reports from the nrc usually buried in between hospital equipment not giving out the correct doses of rats but if you dig, you can find some incidents at various nuclear plants. But not in Canada. They just straight out say nothing happens and they go back to sleep. False alarm my ass. Something happened at Pickering. And after getting a phone call from some higher ups in the nuclear industry, they are now walking this back and retracting to project the nuclear death cult. There is no cause for concern. But whatever is occurring at the plant has us concern enough to send this emergency alert to everyone which we know will cause concern what incident could be big enough to warrant this message but small enough that there's truly no cause for concern i looked all over canada for some radiation monitoring stations and i could not find any good ones now why is that there was reports of an electrical panel fire while restarting a generator could that have been a backup diesel generator? Why would they need a backup? In my opinion, the operators of the Pickering were in a pickle for a few hours. And they felt enough concern to warn the residents until they brought the plant back under their control. But, go ahead, just believe the mainstream media. They never lie. False alarm. And Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself I think you should see this this is really interesting stuff here this is the official Canadian government website and they have a dose monitoring for a couple different isotopes argon 41 xenon 133 very interesting enough Pickering was the only site this is 2019 they do not have any 2020 results up for Pickering but Pickering has Xenon-133 in the air every day of the month. January, February, March, April, you're finding Xenon-133 in the air. You usually don't find that around nuclear power plants. And this is probably something that can't be detected with a Geiger counter. Because mostly Geiger counters are detecting cesium 137 not Xenon-133. But look at this. They're finding Xeon 133 on the eastern boundary. See Ottawa? You're not finding Xeon 133. Vancouver, Regina. So pretty much you're only finding Xeon 133 around Pickering. I find that disturbing, don't you? Now, look at this. The Pickering G1 is offline. Whoa, what happened? It looks like it was shut down. Gee, wonder, no cause for concern guys. Not at all. Now, something else I found disturbing. This is, I can only find monitors in the United States because Canada is pretty lame when it comes to sharing their radiation data. So I can only go by sites there. Now, there was reports that the wind was blowing northwesterly. So there's no rad stations up there to my knowledge. But sometimes you get those winds blowing back and forth. And what do you know? Here on the 12th, we had a spike. That's the same morning as the message went out. Let's look at another chart. Wowzers. We have at 9.50 p.m. January 11th, a high spike here. About 2.50 or so. Looks to be 2.50 CPM. That's uh, not too far away from Toronto. 
Now, this is Burlington, Vermont. But another thing, they said it was a training exercise. Why would there be a training exercise on a Sunday morning at 7 o'clock a.m.? It's a little funny time to have a training exercise, don't you think? Look, there's a spike there on the 12th at 2.72 CPM. Looks like they're having some issues over there on the 16th as well. Yesterday, the 18th. Look at this. New York. Buffalo, New York. We got a rad spike of 273. That's the highest for the week. Just a coincidence, guys. Just a coincidence. So, bottom line is, you cannot trust the nuclear industry. You cannot trust the mainstream news. You can only trust your intuition and to live as far as you can from any nuclear power plant.